Vegetable Police here. So, a couple weeks ago, before I even started my juice feast, I went to the Big Carrot. It's an organic grocery store in Toronto, and when I saw some of the prices of their produce, I just had to film it. I wanted to show you guys the outrageous ridiculousness that is eating healthy in Toronto. So let's take a look. So I'm just gonna talk about some stuff while you look at the prices. I just went on a 13 day juice feast and although it was pretty goddamn majestic in the beginning, it turned into a liquid nightmare. I was struggling and one of the reasons I believe, and I do think I made several mistakes, but one of them was eating basically 100% non-organic. And I was all up in that dirty dozen list too. In fact, I often made juices entirely made of dirty dozen bitches. My celery, cucumber, spinach, lemon juice had more pesticides than Donald Trump's dick. Don't ask how I know. So I do wonder what the results would have been like if I was on entirely organic. But as you can see by the prices, that would have cost me like hundreds a day probably. In fact, that Dirty Dozen juice, which cost me like less than $4 regular, would have cost me over $9 organic. This earth is ass backwards, that's all I know. You can get a regular 10 pound bag of potatoes for $3. Here we got a 5 pound for $8.99. That's 175 times more expensive. My math may be off. Cucumbers are 79 cents. These are 249. That's like a million dollars more. The carrots, that's reasonable. Purple cauliflower, 399, I'll take it. They got some deals. You gotta look for the sales in this store or you come out spending your whole check. That picture was a mistake. I just tapped the touch screen by accident and it took a picture and I didn't notice till I got home, but that's pretty funny. Organic heirloom tomatoes for six bucks a pound. I'm lucky cause a guy on my street grows organic heirloom tomatoes and he sells me this big basket for six bucks. It ends up being like a dollar thirty a pound. Man, I wish more people did that with their backyards. Start growing some food. These kiwis are $1.29 each, and they're on sale. Tell me you don't know somebody that can eat 10 or 20 kiwis just as one meal. You probably eat more than that. That'll cost you a thousand goddamn dollars. Currants, oh, they're only $10 for that pint. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that. I'll just spend my weekly allowance. My mom will kill me. These strawberries are the only thing in this whole store that were even remotely affordable. And they're all gone. That's what everybody bought. They're like, oh, I could probably afford that. Everybody bought those. There's only two left and I bought them both. And I made a shitty juice out of it. Blackberries. I could buy an actual Blackberry phone for that much. And a Raspberry phone. These are probably the best cherries I've ever had in my life. And guess how much that cost me? $13. Fruit is the most healing food on the planet. So if you're wondering why everybody's sick, it's because nobody can afford to eat fruit. I could feed a family of 30 people a starch-based diet for this much money. Get with the times, government. Start subsidizing fruit or we're all gonna die. I bought one of these papayas too. It ended up being over $6 and it wasn't even delicious. We got some unripe pineapples. Those are always fun on the old tongue. It's like licking a sidewalk. Then we come to Melon Town. That's a town paved in gold. These watermelons were five bucks. Look how small they are. I could squeeze the whole thing in my hand. I really have to work on my scarcity mindset because these foods are expensive, but I just gotta raise my income level so where my grocery bill isn't 50% of my earnings. The mangoes were affordable, but they were all squishy little pudge boys. Firm up, you little weakling mangoes. 
bananas. Don't even get me started on bananas. I hate you bananas. Why do you exist? Get out of here. Apples are just stupid. What are you gonna do with an apple? Eat it? That's something a psychopath would do. So either these prices gotta change or I gotta change cities. Or I just gotta start making more money cause I don't like when a head of lettuce is like 10% of my YouTube earnings a month. Let's all live in the land of abundance. It's out there, there's fruit growing right now that's just dropping to the ground and rotting cause there's so much of it. Yet when you live in a big city like this, there's this whole scarcity mindset. It's like everything is so expensive and there's hardly any of it. And I grew up in this city my whole life, but I'm starting to think this ain't the place to be. As soon as my channel explodes a little bit more and I'm making like two grand a month, I am gone from this forsaken land. I'm going to Kelowna, BC, maybe Hawaii, somewhere where there is real food and it's cheap and it's organic. I can only imagine 100% organic raw food diet. That would make you into a super being, my friend. So I'm just hoping the right person sees this video or videos like it and does something about it. I don't know what to do to get the government to subsidize fruit and have it cheaper, but one of you smart kids out there, you're gonna know, you're gonna look into it, you're gonna make it happen. I know you are, you're gonna save us, if not this lifetime, for the next generation. So thanks for watching. Let me know down below if organic food costs this much in your city. I hope not. Dear God help us. Thanks for watching. Thumb up the video if you liked it. And give it a thumbs up and thumb up the video. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.